Hi viewers, you welcome to Benman's Theater, and today we're going to look at the last part of binary operations. Don't forget to like this video and you subscribe to our channel. Well, so when we talk about an identity element, we are looking at any unique element E from R under a given operation such that when you operate A on E, it's the same as operating E on A, which gives S back R A for all A from R. So when you pick any number and you add it to zero, you pick any number A and you add it to zero, you get back that number A. And also, when you multiply A by one, you get back A. So, because you add A to zero and you get back A, and you multiply A by one and you get back A, we say that zero is the additive identity and one is the multiplicative identity. Well, so that's basically what an identity element is. Let's move up and look at what we mean by an inverse element. When we pick up any element A to the negative 1 from R under any given operation, we say that A is the inverse of any number A from R such that when you operate A on its inverse, it's the same as operating the inverse of A on A and we get the identity element E. And always, always, don't forget that we use E to represent the identity element. An operation star is defined by A star B equals A plus B minus A B, where, where A, B are all from R. Now we're supposed to find the identity element E of R under the operation star. And we are supposed to determine the inverse element A from R. So to solve this problem, we are supposed to use this operation to find the identity element. So to start, we know that always the operation given should be written first. So you write down the operation, that is A, operation B is A plus B minus AB. So you put the operation down and we move up from there beautifully in that order. So we know that whenever you operate a number A, on the identity element E, you should always get back the number A. All right. So from here, we know that um, when you operate A on B, you have this. Okay. When you operate A on B, you have this. So it means that when you operate A on E, okay, A star B is A plus B minus A B. So A star E is going to be A plus E minus A E. All right. So that's how it goes over there. So, because you know that A star E is giving us this, okay, A star E is giving us this, everything that is here, then it means that in place of A star E, we can put this there, okay, we can put this in place of that. So now it means that we have A plus E minus A E should give us our A, okay, then we subtract A from both sides, and if we do that, we get E minus A E equals A minus A, okay? And we get E into 1 minus A equals 0 because when you factorize E out, the level is 1 minus A. Then you make E the subject and here we get E equals 0 out of 1 minus A and our final answer let me use a, a different color here, gets to be E equals zero. So it means that the identity element under the operation star is zero. So we move up from there and we move to the B part of this problem. And the B part of this problem is that we are supposed to find the inverse element. Well, so what we are saying here is that whenever um, you have these problems, you have to make sure you know your operation. So let's put that operation. If you go back, we know the operation is A plus A star B equals A plus B minus A B. So we put that operation, which is A star B equals A plus B minus A B. And from here, we know that whenever you operate a number A on its inverse, you get back the identity element E. Right. So, we move up from there and, you know, from our previous 
um, calculation that we made, we saw that E is always equal to zero. So we substitute it over here, and we know that A star A inverse is going to be, so we know A, when you operate A on its inverse, it's going to be A, K, A plus H inverse minus A times H inverse. Well, so from there, we know that A plus H inverse minus A times H inverse should give a zero. That's what we are seeing here. Because you know A, A inverse is A plus H inverse minus A, A inverse. So by substituting, if you put A, A inverse there, which is here, if you put this here, and you put, if you put zero here, then that's how we get. So you make sure you make A inverse the subject of the equation. So now we have this. So if you subtract A from both sides, we have A inverse out into 1 minus A, that by factorization equals negative A. Well, from there, we see that, let's use a different sheet here. We see that we are making A inverse the subject. So we can divide both sides of the equation by 1 minus A. And what do we get? We get A inverse equals negative of A out of 1 minus A. And this becomes the inverse under the equation star in the given domain. Well, we end here. That's basically the algebraic way of calculating the inverse elements and the identity elements whenever you are supposed to solve those problems. Well, make sure you like this video and you subscribe to our channel. This is your boy Ben from Ben Master and I'm out.